The discovery of extremophiles in the 1960s revolutionized our understanding of life's boundaries, beginning when scientists found microbes thriving in the scalding hot springs of Yellowstone National Park. These remarkable organisms weren't just surviving at temperatures near boiling point. Scientists soon discovered other extremophiles living around deep sea hydrothermal vents, where temperatures exceed 700 degrees and crushing pressures would kill most known life forms. Extremophiles continue to surprise us. From microbes thriving in highly acidic environments to those living in extremely salty conditions, like the pink tinted halophiles that give salt flats their characteristic rosy hue. Perhaps most astonishing are the organisms that survive in Antarctica's dry valleys, one of Earth's most Mars-like environments, where some microbes live inside rocks to escape the harsh conditions outside. The existence of these hardy life forms expanded our definition of the habitable zone, the range of conditions where life can potentially exist, far beyond what scientists originally thought possible. Take tardigrades, for example. These microscopic water bears can survive radiation, the vacuum of space, extreme dehydration, and temperatures ranging from near absolute zero to well above boiling. This revolutionary understanding has transformed how we search for extraterrestrial life, directing our attention to places like Jupiter's moon Europa, where a vast liquid ocean exists beneath an icy crust, potentially harboring life around deep sea vents similar to Earth's. On Mars, we now know liquid water likely exists beneath the surface, and our rovers search for signs of extremophile-like organisms that might have evolved to survive the planet's harsh conditions. As we analyze atmospheres of exoplanets light years away, we're searching not just for Earth-like conditions, but for any chemical signatures that might indicate life forms as adaptable and resilient as our planet's extremophiles. Beyond expanding our search for alien life, Extremophiles have practical applications too. Their unique enzymes are being harnessed for everything from more efficient laundry detergents to potential cures for diseases. Perhaps the most profound impact of extremophiles has been philosophical. By revealing life's extraordinary adaptability here on Earth, they've given us hope that in the vast universe, we may not be alone after all.